So, as we're going over some basic conversations in Spanish, in this video we'll talk about how to ask somebody what their name is. Notice that if something is in parentheses, it's optional, or possibly used for emphasis. So if you wanted to ask somebody what their name is, you could use the question, ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? And you could also put the two in there. ¿Cómo te llamas tú? ¿Cómo te llamas tú? And tú isn't really necessary because llamas itself is the you form of the action. But we might also use a different form to show somebody respect. And you could use the phrase, ¿Cómo se llama usted? ¿Cómo se llama usted? And notice that the double L in these is often pronounced like a Y in many accents, although that might vary from country to country. And to answer this, you would just say, me llamo. Me llamo. Let's see a few examples. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Diego. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Ana. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Me llamo Rebecca. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Me llamo Nicolás. Hmm. So, to review, to ask someone what is your name in Spanish, you can use ¿Cómo te llamas? or ¿Cómo se llama usted? while answering Me llamo. But there's also another way to ask people what their name is in Spanish. And you might come across this one as well. And that is the phrase, ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Which literally translates to, which is your name? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? And if you wanted to be polite, ¿Cuál es su nombre? ¿Cuál es su nombre? Then to answer that, you would say, Mi nombre es. And then your name. So, to summarize, we have multiple ways to ask someone for their name. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo se llama usted? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? ¿O cuál es su nombre? And then to answer those, we could say, me llamo, or mi nombre es. You might notice that people learning Spanish will often think that me llamo means my name, so they'll say, me llamo es. This would actually translate to, I call myself is, and then the name. So it would kind of sound funny to a person who speaks Spanish and is their first language. But if you wanted the literal translation of, my name is, you could use the mi nombre es version instead. Well, that's it for this video on asking someone what their name is. Hopefully you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about this video. And don't forget to subscribe for updates on new Spanish video lessons. If you want to practice what we talked about in this video, click here. Or click here to see the next video in this series. Gracias por mirar y nos vemos.